after the Grammys, I was definitely um, in an ambitious headspace. People have asked sometimes, was that expectation negative? And I feel it was a really positive thing to kind of have had success with that song and also my previous record. And then to have a sense of kind of fearlessness about approaching the next body of work and a sense of confidence about, um, you know, trying out all the things I had in my head. I mean, I talk about this with Gautier a lot as well. There's no desire for any of us to try to repeat a moment in time. But now it's colored by all these new circumstances and new experiences and new influences. There are things that I wanted to touch on with this album that I feel I like uh, explored it partly in Vows, and I wanted to commit to them more wholeheartedly on this album. I'd been touring for a couple of years, you know, with a full live band. So going into making this record, I had the intention to use more live musicians and have a heavier emphasis on rhythm and sort of a more aggressive backbone to all of it. Nineties music was a bit of a joke song <laughs> to begin with because I just wrote it with my band out in the country of Australia. It's a really funny little sort of jam with um, drum samplers and I remember just singing that lyric and having so much fun with it and just being like, every day we're listening to nineties music. You know, it was like I had in mind like this kind of strange little kids TV show or something and like, I don't, I don't know, there were a lot of interesting things going through my head like circus music and feeling a little bit unsettling but very highly stylized and embraces a kind of strange sonic space. Taps into nostalgia but really doesn't sound like anything from the 90s. That's not the point. It's uh, more about reliving those memories but through a kind of futurist perspective, you know, through a, a new set of eyes. I wanna settle 